Okay, everyone, so we're going to be solving another optimization problem. So this one reads that a window of perimeter 8 meters consists of a rectangle surmounted by an equilateral triangle. So automatically you know that there are two shapes that you have to work with. Find the width of the window that admits the most sunlight. So we've done a similar example before. So when you see something that refers to the most sunlight, then you know that sunlight goes through a window, which means that you are looking at the area. Okay, so if the sunlight's going through, you're looking at the area of the window. So we have to understand what our equations are, and we should draw, in order to do that, we should draw our image. And then from that, we can extract what our constraints are. So in this case, we have a rectangle surmounted by an equilateral triangle. Okay, I'm not a... I'm not the uh, the best at drawing pictures, but I think you guys get the point. Okay, so let's put some um, some labels on our image. So we have X for the bottom of the rectangle, and of course that's also the bottom of your triangle, and it's an equilateral triangle, right? Which means that every side is the same uh, the same dimension, and then you have the sides of your rectangle, so that would be Y. Okay, so. The first thing we are given is that the perimeter is 8 meters. So let's write our equation. So the perimeter, in this case, is going to be 2y plus 3x. You see, when you draw the picture, it becomes very clear, right? You have 2y's on the sides here, and then 3x's. So that is equal to 8 meters. We also have an area. And in this case, the area is going to be x times y plus your the area so that's the area of your rectangle plus the area of your triangle in this case the area of your triangle is base times height divided by 2 so it's going to be half times x times h and h is just going to be the height of our triangle so you are being told that you have to find which one admits, uh, which sizes or width of, the, of your window will admit the most sunlight, right? And so in order to do that, that means you are going to have to work with your area function, and that's your constraint. So that is going to be the, the this equation is going to be the one that we're going to have to optimize. So in order to do that effectively, we have to make sure that the equation is in terms of one variable. So right, right now you'll notice that there's a y and there's an h. Okay, so we can solve the y issue right now by just rearranging the perimeter equation. So we can say that y is just going to be equal to 8 minus 3x over 2. And then you'll be able to plug that right in. But what about the h? Well, we have to take advantage of the fact that we have a triangle. Okay, and when we have a triangle, you can easily apply Pythagoras' theorem. So we know that in a triangle, a right angle triangle, if this is A and B and C, we know that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay? So in this case, the triangle that we are given, I'm gonna color that in green for you guys so you can see it clearly. So that half right there, in that case, that's going to be H, right? And this is going to be half X, and then this is also going to be x. So when you substitute everything in, so it's going to look like this. Half x squared plus h squared is equal to x squared. So you can expand that out and rearrange. And ultimately, you are going to end up with h is equal to x into root 3 over 2. So let's expand this out together. So we had half x squared plus hx squared equal to x squared. So the first thing we're going to do is expand this. So let's rewrite this. So that's going to be x squared over 2 squared is 4 plus h squared is equal to x squared. And then you want to write everything in terms of h, right? So you want to move this guy over to here, okay? So you're gonna be left with h squared is equal to x squared minus 
x squared over 4. Okay? And then we're going to take the square root of all of that. And then once that's done, you notice that there's a common factor, right? So we want to simplify this as much as possible. Let's take that up here. So we're going to have h is equal to under square root of x squared into 1, right? x squared times 1 is x squared minus 1 over 4. So x squared into 1 over 4 is x squared over 4. And then that makes things a little simpler because now you know that the square root of x squared is just x, right? So when you take the square root of x squared, you just have x. And then you're going to be left with the square root of 1 minus 1 over 4, right? And 1 minus 1 over 4, it's like you take away, you're taking away a quarter, you're going to be left with 3 quarters, right? So h is equal to x under square root of 3 over 4. And we also know that h is equal to root 3 over, so the root 4, you can just write it like this if you want, which means it's x into root 3 over 2, right? The square root of 4 is 2. So, uh, so let's go back and now you'll see how we finish that off. So now we have h and we have y, so we can substitute those into our area equation. Okay, so we're going to have x into y, which is 8 minus 3x over 2, plus half x into h, which is x into root 3 over 2. So ultimately, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So 4x minus 3x squared over 2, plus root 3 into x squared over 4. So now we have our area function, and from here we can derive. Why do we need to derive? Because we have to find the minimum or maximum. In order to do that, we have to take, we have to optimize, and we have to take the first derivative. So if we take the first derivative, so a primed of x, you're going to be left with 4 minus 6x over 2 plus 2 root 3 over 4 into x, okay? So in order to, to do this, to, to optimize, we have to set that to 0 and then solve. So you're going to be left with root 3 over 2 minus 3 into x equals to minus 4. So to help you guys out, if we had 4 minus 6 over 2x plus 2 over 4 root 3x. And we want to simplify this. So let's say we equate this to 0. This is going to be 4 minus 6 over 2 is just 3, right? 6 divided by 2 is 3, minus 3x, plus root 3 over 2. Why is it root 3 over 2? Because this 2 over 4 is basically like saying half, right? So then it just becomes root 3 over 2. Okay, so now this is equal to 0, and we want to put things in terms of x as much as possible. Sorry, I missed the x here. So let's start by taking the 4 over to the other side, and then we can keep the x's on the left-hand side. So you're going to be left with minus 3x plus root 3 over 2x is equal to minus 4. And then if we take out the x, you're going to be left with minus 3 plus root 3, oops, over 2 is equal to minus 4. And then this is just simple math, right? So if you, you can punch that right into your calculator, this part, and then minus 4 divided by whatever you, you, you achieve. So let's get back to the video and you'll see the result. You're going to get a, a fraction, which is minus 2.134. I'll write that here. x e equals to minus 4. And then you can just solve for x, which is 1.874. So now we have what the width, we have this, right? What the width of our window is going to be. 
You can also take that x that we found and substitute that back in to h to find out what your height of your of your uh, window of, of your sorry your triangular portion of your window is, and you can substitute the, substitute that back into y to find out what the height of your rectangle is. But the question asks you for the width, so the x will suffice. But there's one last check. Remember, in, in our optimization problems, we have to make sure that we found whatever they're asking for. So in this case, they're asking for the most, right? The maximum amount of sunlight. So you have to make sure that you found the maximum um, amount with this x. And so you have to take the second derivative, right? So I'll, I'll do that in green. I'll stay, I'll stay here because actually it's a very quick calculation. So a prime of x, so we have a of x here. A prime of x is just going to be minus 3 plus root 3 over 2, okay? And in that case, that's going to be less than 0. And we know that when your function is less than 0, then that is, in fact, a maximum. So that's it. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks, guys. And from there, you can just solve that. So you can enter actually just enter that into your calculator. Enter in root 3 over 2 minus 3.